Hello and welcome to the beginner's tutorial on how to create a nice looking space planet using Photoshop. Now to actually create a planet you will need a texture which could be a rock texture, a ground, anything that could resemble the planet's surface. Now the easiest way to get those textures is to actually go to a website called deviantart.com and just type planet texture into the search field. All those textures are free and you can use them any way you want. Now, once you downloaded the texture, you open it up in Photoshop, like so, then navigate to the selection tool and select the marquee tool, the elept elliptical marquee tool to create a circle. And whilst holding shift, left click with left click mouse, you drag a nice looking perfect symmetrical circle smack in the middle of the texture like so then you create then you press ctrl c to copy the selection and open up a new document file new it will automatically resize the new document according to the copied selection press ok and then ctrl v to paste the selection now we don't it will, it will automatically create a new layer with a new texture you can double click on it and name it planet like so then you go to filter distort spherize and use 100% and click ok now it made it made the planet look like it actually spherical body now the next step is to resize the document so we can have some a bit of a space around the planet to work around to work with you go to while you have the planet layer selected you go to image canvas size and select pixels and just put roughly 200 300 pixels more into the so i would say 1200 in both width and height and press ok now okay let's resize the document the next step is to create shadows onto the onto the planet. To do that, you create a new layer by going to layer, new layer. We can actually press shift control n, press ok, any name, or you can rename it into shadow, like so. Then you use your elliptical marquee tool again, hold shift and create another circle which is roughly the same size as your planet it doesn't matter if it's bigger or smaller like so and then select a pure black color press ok and use your paint bucket tool to fill the circle with a black color like so you can turn off the planet layer just to see what we're doing here better then you go to filter Blur, Gaussian Blur, and use a nice amount of pixels to make a nice soft fuzzy edge around the around the shadows. So the shadows will be nice and smooth. Press OK. Then you can turn the planet layer back on, and you use your Move tool to actually move the layer, the shadow layer layer around so you can decide from which way from each direction the light is coming from and then place your shadow layer accordingly you can just like so now what it actually created this we don't need this extra bit around around the planet so to delete this extra bit properly you while you have your shadow layer active and selected while holding control key left click on the planet layer now it selects all the pixels in the planet layer which will be only our planet and, but you have your shadow layer activated and then marquee tool right click and select inverse to select the the pixels around the planet and then press delete like so so now it all fits together perfectly now it already looks nice, but to make it extra special and more realistic, we will, we're going to add atmosphere and 
oxygen. To do that, you highlight your planet layer and duplicate. By doing, going to layer, duplicate. Okay. You can rename it as well if you want, like oxygen. Like so. Then the next step is to fill the background layer with black, just so you can see what we're doing a bit better. You select the pure black color, okay, your paint bucket tool, and while you have your background layer active, you fill it with black, like so. Then you reselect your oxygen layer again, right click on it, and go to blending options. In here, you highlight tick both outer glow and inner glow. And then left click on outer glow to customize its options. You select this little box which represents the color and select a nice blue color. It all depends on your planet. If you're creating like something like a sun or a star, it could be a white color or a bright yellow color. I'm gonna select blue one for a normal planet, press OK. And while sliding the size slider, you can affect the amount of atmosphere around the planet. Like so. Press OK. You can actually go back to the options and select the inner glow. Again, a blue color. OK. And if you can see what's happening. When you affect the size of the inner glow, you create this nice looking inner glow, which could be, you know, the oxygen of the planet, the oxygen level. Well, when you satisfy it with the, satisfied with the result, press OK. But it created a problem, which is it created the atmosphere also visible around the shadows, which you normally do not see. To delete that, or to erase it. You, to, you select your eraser tool, you go to the brush options, select a nice looking fuzzy soft edged brush with a nice big pixel size, like so, and a small percentage of opacity. And just while well, you have your oxygen level selected, just erase, gently erase the atmosphere around the shadows, the dark, dark side of the planet, like so. And here you go. You have your nice looking planet, which you can put into a nice, into your spacing. Thank you for watching.